Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this very short video, I'm just going to show you some of the improvements I made to the search inside of the membership area. One of which is I made some corrections to the search I was actually using in here. And then also I was able to get my searchy widget to work. Now I will warn you on this. I had a real hard time getting it to work and it's because it was conflicting with Chrome on my computer or on my browser, I should say. And so that was a bit of an issue. Um, I talked to Searchy. They tracked the problem down. It was working on their machines. It was working on other browsers. So I went in and I cleared a bunch of stuff out of Chrome and I got it to work. So I'm telling you all that because if it doesn't work for you, it probably is an issue on your machine, probably an issue with your browser. And if you're using Chrome, just go in, clear everything out, check what your settings are. You know, I changed like 10 different things, so I can't say exactly which one it was that got it to work again, uh, but it is working just fine. And so if it's not working, definitely check your browser because uh, that's most likely the culprit. So let's just go through it real quick here. So first off, I made a couple improvements, like I said, to uh, this button up here at the top, and I changed it. It now says search lesson titles. And so we're going to open that up and it's going to scroll down like that and we're going to enter our search term and in this case here we're just going to say html and we're going to click on search and so let's just go to the first instance here of it and so there it goes it highlighted this right here and it scrolled it to the top and that's what i wanted to do is scroll it up to the top so you're always seeing the lesson that you're looking at is the very top lesson up here. So if we go search again, and again, this is searching just purely on the lesson titles themselves. So let's go here, do it again. Let's go down to HTML attributes. So it opens up that section, scrolls the lesson to the top and shows you the video. And just for fun, we'll do it one more time. Click on search. Let's come down to the very bottom one and scrolls it all the way up to the top for you. Now, what you can also do is you can search using the Searchy widget, which is down here. So all you do for Searchy is $29 a month. You get five hours worth of uploads. You just upload all of your content into Searchy and it automatically transcribes it for you. Then they can give you this widget. You put it into your site and then you have a little search box here. And not only does it search the titles, it searches deep inside. It searches all of the transcripts. And then it will give you what your most recent searches were down here. So I can just click on HTML, populated the box. Now it gives me all of the videos that I talked about HTML. And if I talked about HTML in more than one place, it will give me the same video over and over again. Like here, we have inheritance, CSS 5.1 inheritance. Now you're gonna look at some of these and say, okay, what is HTML zero? What's HTML one? Well, this is referring inside of Searchy. This is referring to the folder that it's in and the number that I have in there. So what you're really wanting to look at is what is HTML? And it's in a folder that has to do with HTML itself. So we know we can come over here to basic HTML. What is HTML? But in order to watch this video, you don't have to come over here and click on this and open up the video. You can just click right here anywhere on the text and it will open up the, I will mute it there. This will open up the video right here. And you see you have the ability to mute and of course pause and play. And then also you can turn the transcripts on right here. You can change the speed and then you can go into full screen mode as well. So now we're full screen and you get a couple more options down here at the bottom. When you go full screen, you can fast forward a bit and we can turn the captioning back off if you'd like. And then we got some more settings here and the speed. And then we can also go picture in picture from here. So you can go picture in picture, which will bring it back to the regular size. And then as I showed you in the first video, you can move your picture in picture around and also resize it all you would like. So we will X out of there. And then of course you can kill this here. We'll come up here, let's say, um, what else do we want? Let's just say property. We're going to say, we're going to search for the term property. You do that and you hit enter, or you could hit that little 
arrow over here on the right hand side and it will bring up everything you are looking for property so we'll come right there oh and you can put in filters here too so less than 20 minutes greater than 20 updated last probably you're not going to use these because um, kind of for what I have in here is kind of irrelevant. So we'll cancel that out and we will click here. And then again, like I said, we can open this up. We've got the video. You can close it by just clicking that and go on to the next one. And they should all have a little X in the bottom corner to close it out if you want. So there you go. A couple different ways you can search, a couple different ways you can watch the videos and so i'm very happy oh and to, and to close it off you just come down here the big big x down here at the bottom this this bug will always be sitting down there in the bottom right hand corner so uh, a couple of different ways you can go through here and i think with this new searching ability inside of the membership area i think that's going to be definitely an added plus for all the membership areas i'm building going forward so again if you have any questions just let me know